Hi, I'm Julie from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy ideas, entertaining, home decor, and so much more. Today, I'm sharing my strawberry shortcake. And this is a recipe that anytime I bring it to a gathering, everyone goes wild. There has yet to be any leftovers, even when I make a double batch. It's also expected of me to bring it when I'm invited to friends' homes or when I'm having them over, especially for Memorial Day and the 4th of July, because it's just that good. Now, what makes it amazing? Well, that's my secret ingredient, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. Let's get started, shall we? Now, this strawberry shortcake recipe is so easy that even little hands can help, which is exactly what my girls will be doing today. First, though, I'm going to get started with a little bit of prep that they can't really help out with, and that's the cutting of the strawberries. I like to slice my strawberries long ways. That makes them very beautiful when you have a nice syrup. And you'll notice that we're doing this before we preheat the oven, and that's because we want to let this marinate in the refrigerator for a little while to create that nice juicy syrup. So now we're going to combine our strawberries and sugar to make the most amazing syrup, which as you know, is what tops it all off. earlier this strawberry shortcake comes together so quick and easy that it makes a really great summer treat because you can spend more of your time at the pool or the lake or just hanging outdoors with your friends and family than you do in the kitchen now to make the shortcakes we're going to use two cups of flour Now we're going to add just a few tablespoons of sugar. Perfect. And then of course we need our ingredients to make it rise and that's baking powder and baking soda. Adeline's going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to add a half teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to bring it all together And it's time to add our secret ingredient, heavy cream. Now heavy cream makes everything better, but it is what makes this strawberry shortcake above and beyond the best. Add a cup and a half of heavy cream. Mix it until it becomes nice and crumbly and everything is moist and combined. And now we're going to press our mixture into a greased baking dish. Now, as you can tell, the batter is very, very stiff. So my little trick on getting it to press is to use a piece of parchment or wax paper. So the best thing about strawberry shortcake is it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you've filled all four corners, we're going to call it good and go ahead and bake this for about 22 minutes. Now, of course, we could just slice our strawberry shortcake, but I always like to use a cookie cutter. So I'm just going to press in, make some beautiful little cakes, and serve them up. Another little trick is to use an ice cream scoop for a generous serving of whipped cream. It makes it look really beautiful. And of course, no one wants to be slide on this one. And then, as you can see, in just one short hour, we have the most amazing strawberry syrup. Enjoy. 